Yeah, I'm going to just share my thoughts on this story for a minute. You know, the story of Enoch Mbianzi is tragic. It, it truly, truly is. This is a young boy who had started his high school career. His entire life lay ahead of him. And now you'll never get to experience all the things that he should have been able to. Now, I remember my high school years. I was at Parktown Boys' sister school, Parktown Girls. And there were a lot of wonderful things that these schools have to offer, like the best education that one could ask for, an opportunity to be part of a bigger family as well. And they do that through their traditions, school traditions that have been there for decades, like initiation, uh, rituals, and camps. Now, some of these can be very contentious. In fact, in 2018, Peter Harris, an attorney wrote a report commissioned by the Gauteng Department of Education. You may remember this. This was after the case of a number of boys who had opened up about being sexually abused at Parktown Boys. Now he says, and I quote, one needs to acknowledge that unfortunately since 2009, initiation practices that involved quite severe assaults have taken place and that there have been allegations of severe initiation practices taking place at various camps on various occasions and various sporting teams over the years. Close quote. Now Parktown Boys has continued to have problems with initiations that have crossed the criminal line. A water polo coach who groomed, groomed and sexually assaulted boys and now this story. And I'm not saying that any of this happened because of a result of initiation, what happened to Enoch. But it does point to ne negligence, negligence as a common denominator on the part of the teachers and on the part of those we entrust with the safety and the lives of our children. Enoch went missing on Wednesday. Why was a case only opened with police the day after? Why only on Thursday? Why not on Wednesday night? He was found only today. So this is what that means. It means that he was out there dead for 48 hours or he was alone, scared and dying. A 13 year old little boy. An indemnity form surely can't absolve anyone from that level of negligence and wrongdoing. And I truly hope that his death was not a result of traditions like initiations. But Ayanda's been tracking the story on social media. Let's see what she's found. Ayanda?